guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So let's have a play with some CD envelopes. I have got a bunch of CD envelopes here which I have copy dyed, except for this one which I, I think distressing dyed, I actually can't remember. Um, but yeah, we might, might or might not even do that one. So yeah, it probably doesn't really matter. Um, but most of them I've just copy dyed. Um, and I thought let's come along and just have a play and just decorate some up and just get some ready to use in our junk journals. So I'm going to use stamps to decorate some of these up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start by cutting out a rough circle to cover up my, my circle. So, you know, I'm going to be very, very, very rough when I do this. So I'm just going to kind of cut this, or, you know, fold this in roughly to the size of the circle so like that and then take it here and take it into here now I am not in any way shape or form saying that this is the best way to do this but this is the way that I'm thinking I'm going to do it and then I'm just going to cut this into quarters like that and I'm going to just cut around to form a sort of circle. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be a circle or anything else, but it's going to cover it a little bit, isn't it? So that when I stamp, basically, I'm not going to be stamping where my, um, you know, plastic kind of stuff is. So I'm going to take some of my corner stamps. Now, I'm going to use these gorgeous corner stamps, which um, I've recently put into my shop um, on www.shabbydabbydoodle.co.uk um, and I'm yeah just going to kind of stamp some of these onto the corners I think as the first the first thing so just going to yeah choose a couple of a couple of the corners which I think are just you know gonna look really nice I love this one um, so yeah let's take that one okay I think I've got a bit of Get rid of that bit of ink on there. I have to be, um, yeah, honest. I do not look after my stamp blocks, so please excuse the state of my stamp block. I realise it's quite difficult to even see through it. So I do apologise for that. Now, I've got some stays on inks here, which I showed recently, which I've bought, you know, a bunch of different colours so that we can have some fun playing with different colours because I realise it's pretty boring, obviously, watching me just do the same old colour stamping all the time. So I'm just going to... Yeah, stamp that off. I mean, what a gorgeous stamp is that? It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So this is Midnight Blue. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's quite dark, but hopefully it's, you know, it's going to look great. So I'm just going to fold this over because otherwise I'm in danger of obviously stamping over, you know, where the fold line is. So I'm just going to put this down here like that. Okay. I'm just going to stamp the four corners of the oops of the CD envelope like that. I just always forget about these CD envelopes, and I don't know why really, because I really really love them. You know, when I when I do remember them and use them, I just think they're gorgeous. But yeah, they're just one of those things that again, you know, I just end up hoarding and not really using. So isn't that just so pretty? So I'm going to just do that on a couple of them, um, but maybe mix up the the stamps that I'm using. So let's put that one down and use a different one. Just so that we've got different, you know, different things going on. So let's use, yeah, let's use this one. Okay, now I'm thinking, shall we use a different colour just to, you know, mix it up a little bit more. So I've got this Eden Green. Never used this before, so I'll just quickly take it out of the cellar vein. I hope this is going to be a nice one. Um, you know, it, it looks like a very pretty colour green, but yep. Yeah. Let's just see. So I'll just stamp it off on there. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? So again, just going to use my little circle that we cut out. You know, and I do use that term circle, you know, very loosely. Pop that there. Pop that down like that. Okay, whoops, like that, okay, and then this side, 
Oh my goodness. I mean, I absolutely love a corner stamp. It's got to be said, <laughs> a bit of a weakness of mine. Um, you know, corners, swirls, flourish, any of those kinds of things. They're just, yeah, I kind of can't get enough of them. I never, ever tire of them. You know, and I've been using them for years and years and years, but I just still absolutely love them. You know, there's something about them that just always looks absolutely awesome, I think. So, um, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I just really, really, really love them. So just stamp that one off and let's use a different one. So, yeah, I might use this one now. And we'll use a different colour. Again, just, you know, so we're not being really boring. So let me just put in a different colour. Got this um, vibrant violet. So let's use this. Okay. okay. So in fact, we could do this on that that purple one, couldn't we? As we're doing violet. So yeah. Oops. Must get my circle. I mean, to be honest, these might not even be going near the, um, you know, near that circle. But just in, you know, the window, just in case they are, I think it's just a good precautionary measure to just cover it up. You know, because obviously, you know, better to cover it up than, you know, even if you don't need to, than actually end up stamping over it by accident. So, I mean, not that that's the end of the world, but yeah, just if you can, it's better to not not do that isn't it so how gorgeous does that look love it love it love it so let's just put these corners away like that okay right let's put this stays on pads away so they're not all everywhere and around the desk okay right so let's do those um uh oh what are they called? CD envelopes back. So yeah, let's just have a look and see what we've got. Now I've got some die cut shapes and things beside me. Oops, let me just pull them in. So yeah, let's have a look and see. See what we've got. Oh, I don't know now. I'm just having a quick look through the bits and pieces that I've got here to the side. Um, okay. Mm. Yep, yeah, okay. And what was the other thing that I had? Oh yeah, I've got some of my um, stamped images from my, this is from my stamp set one, I think it is. So I'm just going to cut out this. So, and obviously these are available on my Etsy shop. But they're just kind of faux stamped, faux stamped images, which, you know, they're really quite nice to use. So, and saves you stamping. But they do look like stamped images. So, yeah. Let's just cut that out. Okay. Yeah, Always find the Eiffel Tower a little bit on the tricky side to cut out. Okay, there we go. So I hope everyone's having a good day, doing some nice crafting, having a nice time. Do share below in the comments what you're working on. I know I say it all the time, but honestly, it's so very helpful to, um, you know, give inspiration, you know, for anyone who's kind of like just struggling and kind of thinking, oh, what shall I, you know, what shall I do today? What can I work on? By just sharing sharing what we're all working on it really can kind of spur people on you know when you're kind of struggling for for something so yeah do do share right now i'm thinking have this on the um the one with the green so i'm just going to tear around the paris word oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look I love how that looks. I mean, to be honest, I've not even got anything else on there, but just love how that looks. Right, now I have got these beautiful trims. 
I mean, I love green. So for me, this is like, you know, it was going to be a winning combination. But yeah, how gorgeous does that look? I've just got a little bit of green lace. This might be not the right colour green, but let's just see. I mean, again, totally not, um, you know, how I was expecting this to go. It's, yeah, just not, just, you know, not at all how I expected it to go. But I do absolutely love how it looks, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm thinking kind of do that. What do we think to the green? I think the green lace does add, does add a little something, doesn't it? So, yeah, let's, let's go for that. Okay, right. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down there. Just to hold the lace in place. And actually, I'm going to glue it that way around so we have a more curly, curly edge for it. Okay. Going to glue the um, Eiffel Tower on, just using my hot glue here. Like that. And that's going to obviously press down the lace as well. Or, you know, secure, secure the lace as well. Like that. Okay. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? I love, love, love how that's looking. Right. So I'm just going to get my couple of daisies. So, yeah, and again, I've got these um, bits and pieces. These are all on my Shabby Jabby Doo Doll website. Um, you know, hopefully it's all going to be on there to coincide with this video. So if you wanted to kind of check anything out, it should all be, should all be on there. Now, do we like the Paris at the top or over the top of the Eiffel Tower? I quite like it over the top of the Eiffel Tower, I think. So, put that on there like that. Oh, my goodness. How yummy does that look? Love it. Right. Just going to ink around the um, edge to just kind of brown that up a bit. Kind of age it. I was just wondering whether we should brown up that white flower. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's good, doesn't it? So just brown up the, the flowers there. Just to kind of age them slightly. Now, just wondering whether we need to put on the inside anything on the inside. So again, don't know. It might be that it actually looks fine without, but we'll just try, just try a little something on the inside. So I'm just having a quick look. Quick look to see what I could put in there. Uh, seeing whether I've got anything that's really wide enough to slot in to the space there. Uh, these are all quite narrow. Oh, here we go. What about that? That is big enough, but I'm not sure that's quite quite what I want to have on there. Okay, let's just have a look here. Right. Okay. What about this one? Oh, I don't know. Let's just try this. So we could have that. I'm not loving that. We could have this one. Oops. Don't mind that. I'm just going to see how it would look with some... Um, vintage ephemera instead so yeah I think I prefer that to be honest so yeah I'm just going to literally glue this down so run some glue all around the edge okay Right, and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tuck this in like that. Oops. Tuck that in like that. Okay. And I'm just going to run a bit of glue here, or a line, line of glue there, along that top edge. So hopefully that will be, you know, properly glued down and not coming up at all. So like that. Okay. And then, you know, should be able to just even just 
fold that down and tear that down. So. Oh my goodness, how yummy does that look? I mean, it just took like five minutes, didn't it, to put that together? So yeah, absolutely love how that looks. Right, let's pull in the next one. So this one here, um, again, just wondering now whether I should stick with these. Actually, or, pretty sure I've got one of my big large items here. So um, I think I've got one of my big stamped boots. Let me just have a look. Oh, which I had seen earlier and now of course it's now buried somewhere and now I can't find it. Hang on. Oh, come on. Oh, honestly, my desk is just such a terrible nightmare. I definitely, definitely, definitely need to have a clear out or clear, clear up. I've got that. Oh, that's a bit big, isn't it? Yeah. I said that's a bit big, and meanwhile I'm looking for my large, my large boot image. But I've got this feeling that the large boot might be, might be just right. Honestly, I mean, how has that gone missing? I saw it literally <laughs> 10 minutes ago. And now, lo and behold, it's it's disappeared. So, yeah, I will not be using the large boot. Because, of course, I can't find it now. Okay, right. Plan B. Oh, plan B. Right. I've got these big shoes oh I'm doing purple for some reason I was again thinking I was doing green oh, right. okay. we're doing purple we are doing purple well, that's going to be way too big oh to be honest maybe the big boot would have been too big as well then to be honest um so you know I won't feel too bothered that I couldn't find it I mean we could mix it up and have one of those green shoes on there should we just try that I do love colour, so, you know, mixing up the colours is, you know, it's fun, isn't it? Okay. Right. this shoe down and who knows this might, might not look all right anyway but it might do I do love green and lilac together they're a very pretty combination aren't they so um yeah I think that does look quite pretty now got a lilac bow that I just happened to spot floating around on the desk so thinking can we could have something like that oh my goodness how pretty does that look now i don't know what i want in the background here um maybe maybe something like this let's see mm. what do we think to that just take it out again. Yeah, it does need something, I think, doesn't it? Do we think? Let's just take that down here. Okay. So these shoes are in my fussy cut packs. Um, so if you were wondering where they are. I've also got the shoes and boots printable in my Etsy shop, but I don't think that's got this colour shoe. Um, so, yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty certain it does not have a green shoe. Um, but, hey, you know, if you love the look of the green shoe, which I really, really do, then let me know. I can always kind of try and add, maybe add a green shoe. Now, do we like the green? We've also got some lilac 
Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? So let me just cut this down. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking. Right, let me just cut this in half. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Oh, I just absolutely love how that looks. That is so pretty. Right, I'm just going to trim this down slightly because it just needs to sit in there a bit sort of tidier. So let's pop this down. Okay, plenty of glue. Right. Pop that down there like that. Okay, right, let me just put again a line of glue kind of across the oops, across the top so that that's you know glued down properly. Okay. Okay, right, I have to say, I've not got that in very straight, to be honest, but never mind. I mean, yeah, never mind, to be honest. Right, okay, we're going to glue the um, lace down across the bottom. Now, I'm just going to hot glue this down. And then, because I've made it a little bit long, I'm going to kind of ruffle it slightly. Just to kind of, oops, just to stick it down, you know, and then it just, it's got a bit more interest, hasn't it? So yeah, right. Just ink this just slightly around those edges, just where I made a shoddy job of cutting. So yeah, that one. Oh, my eyesight! What is going on? Right, love how that looks. So let's hot glue the shoe. Now the shoe is going to go straight across that lace. So like that okay like that and then okay and that bow I love on that shoe so I just pop that one down there oh that is so girly, isn't it? I just absolutely love how that looks. It's, yeah, just 100% girly, isn't it? Right, let's just see, just going to see whether we want to have any more lace on here. Kind of thinking, could we have some across the top with maybe one of those little buckles? Let's just try this. It might look absolutely rubbish, but... Just kind of just had this feeling that I wanted to try it. And I just think, you know, if ever you've got a, a little inkling for something, you should always give it a try. Because otherwise, you know, you'll just always be wondering, would that have looked good? So let's just, yeah, put that through. Okay. Like that. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? So yeah, just going to like finish that off with basically this one across the top. So again, just going to hot glue this down. So let me just put another glue stick. Okay. Like that. And like that. Okay. Press that down and just slip that out there. Just tidy it up at the edge. Oh, that just looks like something out of Cinderella, doesn't it? Oh, it's yummy. Absolutely yummy. Really, really, really love that. Okay, right. Next one. So, well, what did I do with the other one? I did the other one with blue. I remember that much, but I don't remember where I put it. Oh, here it is. Okay. Huh, for a minute, I thought, oh, I don't believe it. 
think I'm not going to be able to find it now. Which, oh, what a nightmare. Right, okay. Uh, just wondering. No, no, no. Not one of those. Okay. Uh, yeah, just having a bit of a look, really, to see what I've got here to put with this. I so need to have a bit of a clear up of my desk because it's actually come to the point where, you know, I'm struggling to find things, which that's not great, is it? You know, I mean, I'm always struggling to find things, but I mean, I'm struggling to find anything, you know, kind of um, with regards to, I can't even remember, you know, what things I have that I might like to use, which that's then, you know, a sure sign you need to clear up, isn't it? You know, because it actually then becomes where you can't, can't make something because you can't actually remember what you've got. So, right. Just having a quick look, only because these are blue frames, which of course, you know, this is blue stamp. Um, so I'm wondering. Mm. I mean, she is nice. What if, oh, is she going to fit on here? Right, let me cut this out. So this is my curator's collection, the insects um, one. I can't remember now what we called it, but the birds, bees and butterflies or something. Not birds. Oh, toadstools. Toadstools, bees and bugs or something like that. Anyway, it's, it's in my Etsy shop. So yeah, but it's got these wonderful blue frames. So I'm just kind of thinking, going with the blue from here, Let's just try this out. So I'm thinking the blue. Now, is she going to go on there? Let's take her down. Let's take her down. I don't know. It just sounds like something I've heard in a film before, but yeah. Right, let's just cut that down. Obviously, it needs to come down further. But, you know, I like to be able to mix up kind of, you know, um, different bits and bobs. So it's, you know, it's fun to do that, isn't it? Uh, yeah, might keep the numbers out for a moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Just wondered suddenly, do we want a tab or anything like that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Right. Okay. Let me put these bits away. Okay. Put those away. Right. So obviously she needs to come down more. And I mean, I don't mind if I've, you know, if she's kind of showing some of that background with the text. I mean, obviously I'd rather not have the, the insect shown. Do you know what? What I should do is actually just cut this out with my craft knife. Now my craft knife is broken, I'm afraid, so, oh gosh, please excuse my awful technique now with my craft knife, but let's just try, try and cut this out. So just going down that edge. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't really occur to me to do this in the first place. It would have been a bit easier than trying to cut her down to size. Well, not necessarily easier, but you know, I needn't have worried about trying to cut her down to size, I suppose. Right, let me take this. Uh. Okay. Yep. Okay, right. Looking good. Let's just ink that up to disguise those shoddy edges. Okay. Yay. So she looks quite nice in there, doesn't she? So I'm just going to quickly ink her up a little bit. Not too much, but just, you know, just a little bit. And then I can go round the inside edge of the frame. 
just to try and attach that obviously to her like that okay and then whoops then the whole thing you know will be glued into the or onto the thing at me bob I'm losing the ability to speak He's losing my um ability to remember what i'm making it's the cd envelope okay yeah so she can go kind of like that i think now, i've just got some of my number tabs here just see whether i've got any that might look okay with her mm. Uh, haven't used um any of the numbers for a while you go through phases don't you and um you know then you kind of forget to use things but yeah i do always really like them so uh quite fun to to get them back out so and obviously they're um yeah, this is, I think, actually from the number tabs, might be set three. So, yeah. Right. Maybe something like that. Uh, but just before I do that, I'm just wondering whether I want to cut out any of the flowers. Now, I've got these gorgeous blue roses, which I'm just thinking perhaps they might be quite nice with her. Or we could obviously really, um, you know, really colour her up and have some pink. Okay. Oops. Okie dokie. Yeah, I mean, that's quite nice with the um, blue, isn't it? like that it's quite pretty doesn't it maybe there okay and then I'm just going to try another one I don't know whether I definitely want to but we'll just give this a try yeah it would be nice to have some um you know cd envelopes ready to use to be honest because like I say they're one of those things that I just forget to kind of use really so, um, yeah, it'd be nice to have some actually kind of in my stash, ready and decorated, that I could pull in. So, yeah. Oh, how pretty does that look? Love it, love it, love it. Right, and I do want some lace on there, or maybe some sorry silk. Thinking sorry silk, because, my goodness, what a gorgeous colour this is, and just picks up that blue of those roses, doesn't it? Right, okay, um, yeah, I think you need to now glue some bits on. So let's glue this one down first. Okay, oops, like that. Okay, I'm going to glue this, was there, wasn't it, on that corner, corner of her. Like that. Gorgeous. And then this here. Okay. Actually, do you know what? I'm now wondering whether I could use something like this. So this is just one of the ephemera type pieces from my little ephemera pieces that are on my website. But I'm thinking that might be quite nice. Because otherwise I feel like, well, everything was a bit too blue. I know. I mean, I've gone from trying to get everything blue to now being like, oh, maybe I've got a bit too much. A bit too much blue. So, yeah. Now, this is only paper. So, I mean, the other bits, they're paper, but they're printed on much thicker paper. They're not kind of very flimsy. So, hence I could get away with the hot glue. But, yeah, I think for this, or for that. 
I just needed a bit of wet glue instead, so. Okay, oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? So, and that's without even having our um, sorry silk yet. So, where do we want the sorry silk, is the question. Just try and, oh, come on. Now, do we want to have it here along the bottom, here along the top? Side, side. Definitely the bottom or the top. I'm actually thinking maybe the top because, um, you know, actually maybe that top looks a bit, a bit boring. So yeah, let's go for it along the top. So just going to bring it in here. So let's glue that down. Okay, and then the next bit. And again, just going to glue it like halfway along. I'm not going to take it right the way across the whole envelope. I'm just going to have it to, to here-ish. You know, I think that's good enough. I don't think it needed, oops, don't think it needed to be right the way across. Like that. Oops, oh, bits all stuck everywhere. Sorry about that. Um, bits of, yeah, bits of hot glue stuck everywhere. Um, right, now just thinking... What do I want to put inside this? I mean, I could just leave it plain because actually it's picked up quite a bit of that um, coffee dye anyway. It doesn't look kind of really white, does it? But I'm thinking just maybe, maybe just a bit of book page in there to just, you know, tie it in a bit. So I'm just going to take this down a fraction. Oh dear. Let's just see. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So I might just very quickly ink this just a tiny bit. Just so it's not quite so stark looking. Okay, and we'll just glue this in. So then just slide this in here like that. and then I'm just going to quickly run a little bead of glue along the top here. Okay. Oh my goodness, how pretty does that look? So yeah, I mean, good kind of start I think we've made with our three um, CD envelopes. So, and they all look pretty different, I think. You know, they're, um, yeah, they're pretty different in their um, patterns and their styles and their colours and things, aren't they? So yeah, let me know below which one's your favourite. I'm not quite sure which one mine is. <laughs> to be honest, each one that I did, I really loved as I did it. I mean, I probably favour this because it's very different to um, to the other two. You know, it's completely different, um, you know, just because it's lilac. But having said that, I do really, really love these as well. So, yeah, let me know below which one do you like best. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic time with your CD envelopes. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.